Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Now, just as a quick reminder, just want to let everybody know that I will be trying to update this about two times a week. So, let's get into the action, huh? <laughs> Night dawns, and with it, the vampire grows stronger. Always a good thing. Our first order of business is going to be to head off to the next cave. So we'll use the light magic here and make our way over there. You little bastard. There we go. You know, I have no idea what that dog is doing to that bush. But we'll interrupt him anyways. Oh, that was quick. Alright, so here we are in the Werewolf Shrine. My lupine form enables me to move like lightning and leap over obstacles barring my path, but the guise of the wolf brings with it its own kind of hunger and rage. My god, we're trapped. Well, thankfully, as you said, we have this new lupine form, which can jump over pits. Like so. Now it's also really fast, so you gotta be careful when using this form because, well, especially in this room, you can run into these spikes really easy. And it's actually kinda hard to hit these switches. Oh god. Oh, that didn't go well at all. Now on a plus side, as you can see here, I can, or well, I guess you can't see, but the werewolf form can actually drink blood as well. So if you're running low, don't worry about being in werewolf form, you're actually perfectly fine to fill back up. Also, there's a nice handy dandy little vial there. That's the bonus of the wolf form. It's actually going to give us access to lots of new areas we couldn't get to before. because you can't pick it up when you're full. Now the downside about the wolf is that combat works a little bit differently, and to be honest, sometimes it's a bit more of a pain, but it seems like he doesn't do anywhere near as much damage. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Lots of spikes to hit. Whoop. Awesome. And that's the wolf cave. Stupid dog. Okay, so. First up, we're going to go back and hit up a couple secrets real quick. Uh, the best way to do this is actually to use the Sanctuary spell, which I said I probably wouldn't use too much. And I still intend to be right about that. Now this actually does take you to the very beginning of Kane's Mausoleum. Which means you have to walk all the way out. So I apologize for a little bit of the backtracking here, but trust me, it's worth it. Now this is a ghost. <laughs> See how she's back, and when you drain quote-unquote blood, instead you actually get mana back. Alright, so here we are. Now, we have the added bonus of wolf form, which lets us go through this very quickly. And on top of that, well, we can jump over gates. I guess we can jump over gates once this guy's dead. Master grave digger. Anyways, this allows us to pick up things like this blood potion we saw earlier. Which, ironically, we find once... I'm at full health. And you can see how quickly you can get over to the original area. Now this area, which surprised me, is actually uh, 
a dedication to the Crystal Dynamics people that worked on the game. Each one of these, once translated, becomes like, rest in peace, John, blah blah, no one cares. I'm sure it's really nice, but, you know, way to put yourself in the game and all, but come on. It's kind of a pain in the butt, too, because I actually did not intend to hit any of those tombstones as I walk through there. And here we are at the new secret. Now over here, we're actually going to find a brand new item. A medley of death and evisceration. Let fate choose my enemy's demise. Now this ability works a bit like a tarot card, like he says, letting fate decide what's going to happen. And since we're pretty much done here, we're going to use the bat form to fly right back to where we were. See, I had a plan all along. Now you can always fly back to the pillars, which is nice. And you can also fly here, to the shrine we memorized. Real quickly, there's a couple more secrets that are pretty awesome and will help us a little bit later. So we're going to go take care of that real quick. I guess we could have flown to the pillars. Whatever, it was only like five seconds anyways. Okay, so now we got Wolfie Vorn, and screw this whole area. I don't even want to mess with it, because these guys are way too hard to defeat. Especially in the daylight, so screw it, we're leaving. There they go. And just like that, we're back at the town. At least we will be once this guy's dead. Thanks for the refill. Also, I love how no one in town really cares that this giant werewolf guy is running through. Stupid ghost women. I love how the bartender will actually attack you once you jump over the bar. For some reason, I was never able to... What the hell? Hmm. Okay, it looks like you can't really activate this switch in wolf form. That I'm just not doing very good. Come on. There we go. And that leads us to our secret. Secret path to the Flay Shrine. Now, shrines are incredibly helpful, as we'll see in a couple seconds here. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. Deal. First, let's light up this area to see what it looks like. And we'll head up to that chatty little shrine there. So, at a shrine, you lose some health and gain something special. In this case, we gain 10 flays. And since health is easily regenerated, this is a great deal. But it can put you in a really crappy place if you're right near some devastating enemies and now you're basically are almost dead. So be careful. Or know what you're doing in the first place. Either one. One must be wary in dealing with the spirit forges. The wraith and shades that inhabit them offer items beyond mortal dreams in exchange for a sampling of your blood. The wraith smiths forge their items with forfeit souls. Good to know. So in this area, we have a handy dandy little bat shrine, which we'll pick up real quick. And that allows us to come back and get flays anytime we need, which is really nice. Oh, look, a wolf. Go away. Wow. For some reason I couldn't escape. Well, that was nice. There we go. That's what I wanted. 
Oh, look, another dog. Screw you. 